Hi and welcome to this new feature video for Victor 6.2 on the Event Activator. The Event Activator allows users to manage linked events and actions for specific use cases to reduce alarm noise and increase focus. This feature allows users to configure multiple events across multiple cameras to, to be enabled or disabled based on specific use cases. Before the event activator is configured, the user must configure three individual events for each scenario. These three events include one for the area being monitored, one for the events to be enabled in the area, and one for the events to be disabled in the area. In this demonstration, you can see that the events are named Bay 3, Bay 3 Arm, and Bay 3 Disarm. The event activator icon can be found in the create new section. This is where the user can configure a group of events to be either disabled or enabled by selecting the required event state status checkboxes. Next using the event selector, click the add button to select the event of the area being monitored, in this example Bay 3. Then by using the event pairing window, link the event to enable the events in the area, i.e. the Bay 3 arm event that was set up earlier. This process is then repeated for the disabled activator. From the event window, we can see that the events for Bay 1, 2 and 3 have all been created and are currently enabled and disabled. When we right click the Bay 3 Disarm event and select Activate, this will now deactivate our Bay 3 event. This is the same for if we activate the Bay 3 Arm event and so on. If we then navigate to the Event Activator in the Show All section, we can see that our three bays each have two activators all set up and running. These newly configured event activators can now be visually represented within Vector Maps by using a submap polygon. To configure the new activators on a map, firstly the user needs to create the event submap for the area being monitored, i.e. our Bay 3. From the map editor, use the icon editor to assign a color to a state that will be displayed on the map polygon. There are three states, active, where the actions are triggered, enabled, when the events are turned on and disabled when the events are turned off. In this example, we have selected green for enabled, orange for active and red for disabled. Once the submap has been saved, it can then be added to the main map. In this example, we have created an airport map and as you can see, Bay 1 and Bay 2 have already been created. The polygon can then be created around the submap to visually represent the area of interest on the map. Next, we'll create two custom icons for our enable and disable events for the map. This is completed in the settings tab where the user can upload custom icons to meet their specific requirements. These two events from earlier can then be added to our main map. During the setup, the user will see the default images for the events. However, once the map has been saved and the user navigates to the map viewing tab, the new custom icon will be shown, as you can see on screen. From our map, we can now see that Bay 1 and 2 are green, representing that there is a plane in the bay and the events are enabled and turned on. And our new Bay 3 is red, i.e. there is no plane in the bay and the events are disabled and turned off. We can now use the custom icons and the events to disable bays 1 and 2 manually from the map itself as shown. In the event management tab, 
you can see that we have two events already configured for Bay 1 and Bay 2 on a ProGen 4 camera. If we manually generate the alarm for Bay 1 on the camera, you will notice that there is no change to the map or in the event viewer as our events for Bay 1 are currently disabled and turned off, i.e. no alerts. If we enable our Bay 1 on the map and repeat the process, you will see the polygon changes its state to orange as our event and alarm is now active and has been tr triggered, which you can also see here in the event viewer. If we then repeat the process and enable Bay 2, we'll be able to see our motion detection alarm being activated when a person walks past the camera view, activating our Bay 2 polygon. By acknowledging these events in the event viewer, this will reset the event activators and the polygons to their enabled status and turn them to green on the map as shown. All this information is also stored in the activities section on the map as shown on screen. This can then be cleared by right clicking the activities icon as shown.